on YouTube, this is Vice speaking. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm, like, there's, there's not really much I can say this time. You know, the thing about YouTube, man, when you make videos, if you take a day off, you're usually fine. If you take, like, four days off, it'll be a bit harder to... is to get back into the the YouTube mode so you know I, I had some weeks where I was sick I was genuinely like in the hospital I couldn't do anything and there were some days I could have recorded 15 videos if I wanted to but that's a that's a ton of videos but I just didn't but we, the, the fact of the matter okay is we are back now I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas a happy new year and all of that happy Hanukkah if you celebrate it because we are back in the groove baby I'm so excited it's like it's like what 8 p.m. it's like 9 right now I'm yelling in the house probably causing a distraction for other people but hey we are out here guys I might sound so excited just just hear me out on this I already know what game that we're playing after Dragon Quest 3 is finished it will be a curveball you won't it, it's not what you think it's gonna be, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you're ready because it's gonna bang, all right? Um, in the last episode, you might not recall because it was about a year ago, if we're being technical. Um, I believe we found all five orbs, if I'm not mistaken. We check our bag here. We have a, uh, a purple orb, a blue orb, a green orb, a red orb, and a yellow orb. We are missing one, and that is the silver orb, all right? In this episode... We're tracking down the ghost ship. All right, you should know by now. We use this boatman's bone here. Let's see. Points to a spot 23 leagues to the south and 15 to the east. That sounds very close, in fact. So let's uh, see if we can track that down. We're cutting out battles as usual. Let's get a move on. Well, the one battle we um, <clears throat> got into on the way, Marcella gained a level. She is up to level 29, 5 HP, 7 strength, which is going to be huge. Now, I know you see that down at the bottom of the screen. Um, first, before we uh, go do what the heck we need to do with that, I want to see if we... I, and it, this is what sucks about the break. I know there are new spells that I haven't gone over. I just can't remember off the top of my head which they are because when I learned them like a month ago, it's just been a while. Okay, yeah, cut me some slack, alright? Now, Cause Sizzle might be new. I hope it's new because I'm going over it. Cause Sizzle is the, uh, the, the upgraded version of Sizzle. You know, you probably could have figured that out. It is much more powerful, does cost more MP. In my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. Otherwise... Fuddle might be new. I don't think it is, though. I think that might even be it for Betty. I didn't do a ton of leveling up, I don't think. Otherwise, Margaret knows Blasto. Okay, I, I, I'll talk about that. Blasto is a, a really strange spell. I might have already said this. I don't know, but I'm going ahead with it. I think it, it can send enemies, like, directly out of a battle. But I doubt you get experience for it. I, you got... I've never, uh, I have not once in my life used the spell, and I probably won't because it's just not the type of spells I like to use, so I don't know much about it. Anyways, our goal is that ship, so let's continue on. Welcome to the ghost ship. This is a uh, pretty eerie dungeon, a very unique one, the first of its kind in Dragon Quest, I believe. Um, but to start out, I'm going to see what the skeleton dude is up to. It's the ship's wheel. It's moving on its own, as if guided by a ghostly hand. Though the wind may blow and the rain lash are good, they'll never sink this stubborn old tub. <laughs> Skeletons are awesome. Um, yeah, this place makes no sense. Nothing up here, it looks like. And you can see, um, really intense enemies. I mean, Squidzilla. Actually, I think you can find these near the... Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to think of it. 
But I'm out of it, man. I just need to get back in the groove. It's been it's been too long. And oh, what will work on these guys? Cause I either fire or ice will have no effect. I forget which one it is. I'm gonna go for the um, sizzle. And Betty. You know, Betty, why don't you just throw out a good crack? So yeah, um, be prepared. This is we are in the the big leagues. If we're talking enemies, all right, things aren't easy after this point of the game. So make sure that you are not under leveled. All right, these things will chew you up and spit you out. You don't want to have to die and get your gold cut in half. You just don't want to go through it. So save yourself the trouble. Make sure you are in a good place because things are not. We're not playing around anymore. We're getting serious. Anyways, uh, try not to fall off here. Nothing. All right. <laughs> what in the world? You can never have too many corpses on a ghost ship. How about it? Fancy becoming the next. Yeah, he talks a big game, but it's a literal mini demon. This guy should pose no threat to you. Uh, so just deal with them real quick. Frizzle can be, uh, you know, it can be, actually, <laughs> who, what am I kidding? Frizzle is not a devastating spell for us. We're going to be just fine. Uh, we get him out of the way. Doesn't seem like there's, okay, midi metal. I'll take that. All right, I found some handsome crabs, but one crack from um, Betty just handled them. That might be a new spell, in fact, crack because it goes crack, crackle, and then cut crack. And I think in this game, there's actually four versions of each of those spells. Not positive, though, but crack is a very strong one, so. Anyways, I was not expecting to find a human on this ship. Who are you? Huh? Oh, phew. You're not one of them. At least, you don't look like one. Are you looking for treasure too? I came here hoping to find some valuables, but all I've come across so far is dead bodies and ghosts. I'm a nervous wreck. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I, this is not the place to be looking for treasure, dude. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, cross our fingers here. That's a red light. The rest of these should be okay to open. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry in advance. We get gold. A bulb. Uh, nope. And some more gold. Alright. Now, let's see. This might take a while. Nothing. Mini metal. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. A seed of strength. I don't even gotta say it at this point, at least I hope so. You already know what we're doing with that. Oh, we can go back here. But there's still nothing. Okay. Now, I believe this is what we've come here for. This chest contains the lover's locket, and we will be needing it on our quest to obtain the silver orb. Um, I'm gonna do a bit more exploring, because I don't know what all there is to find on this ship. Otherwise, if you are good with this, then you can you can evac out of here. Anyways, I'm going north for now. Rowan works for slaves and scurvy scoundrels. Guess which I be, shipmate. <laughs> no reply. It's just a corpse. Oh my goodness. Something must have happened on this ship. Huh. Huh. Curse this infernal lore. I can't feel my arms. You're dead, dude. I didn't see what he... Okay. Arr, I killed a fellow good and dead. And now I be paying the price at this here or Tis fair recompense for me sins. But young Eric over there, so much as coughed in church. Framed he was, poor lad. Ah, it is a crime indeed. I skipped some words, I feel stupid. I can't read. Eric, who is Eric? Olivia, my love, we are sinking. It seems you and I are doomed never to meet again in this world. But I will never forget you, 
My love will never fade. I pray that you at least are able to live out your days in happiness. Farewell, beloved. Interesting. There's a storm of brewing, shipmates. The wind, the waves. Arr. I think that is all for us to find. So, I'm getting the heck out of here. Oh, it can't be used here. I was not expecting that. So we're gonna have to walk it out. All right, let's get a move on. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I just... Why did I never see that first staircase? Uh, whatever. Alright. Now, at this point... Actually, we are gonna make a quick cut and I'll be right back, alright? Alright, so at this point... We're gonna make a trip to a place called Olivia's Promontory, I guess? Um, I don't know much about this. In fact, I, it... What I'm going off of, it makes it seem like you're supposed to have already visited this place, or you're supposed to know what it is. I'm just... I, I'm just sort of going. So, hopefully I figure this out soon. Otherwise, you can follow me, crossing my fingers that I go to the right place, alright? Okay, I think this is where we need to go, but the north entrance is blocked by these rocks, so I think we're gonna have to go around to the south. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get a move on. I was just sailing. I don't even know what's going on. A mournful song drifts across the water. Okay, I think this might be it. Now, if you recall what Eric was saying, he I think he even mentioned Olivia's name. I wasn't paying attention. Regrettably, I feel and I definitely should have been. But I think these two are connected somehow. Let me just see. Warm memories of Eric and Olivia's love for one another swirl through the air. Oh, Eric, my beloved, my soulmate. I have awaited your return all through the long years. Olivia, my one true love, I will never leave you again. Never. Oh, Eric. I'm happy for these two. I don't know what their history is, but there they go. The spirits of the lovers have ascended to heaven, and the curse has been lifted at last. So I think I would have known about this if I ever sailed this way, but I, I genuinely don't think I have this entire playthrough. So this is the first time I'm experiencing this place. But now we should have access to this monolith. I don't know what this place is, but let's check it out. Is this a cave? Wanderer, you have found the Shrine of Shackles, loneliest of all prisons. Okay, um, okay, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. Actually, uh, wait a minute, I'm gonna make one more cut. One more, alright? No, 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 I think I'm gonna keep going. This, this should be quick, hopefully. I don't know what to expect, but just hoping it doesn't take long. 
Oh, wait a minute. That might be a mini metal or something. Nope. Go to the left side. Set. Oh, God, it's just a piece. There is our mini metal. Oh, goodness. This episode might be a bit long. I hope not. We shall see. There it is. That's what we call the episode. We've heard a lot about it. We finally obtained the Mountain Cleaver. In the next episode, maybe, you know what? If you pay really good attention, you will remember that guy on that very lonely island who talked about casting the Mountain Cleaver into some sort of, uh, some sort of mountain or volcano or something. I don't know. Anyways, in the next episode, that is exactly what we are going to do. Guys, if you did enjoy, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can just like and tell me what I can do to improve these episodes in the comments below. With all of that said, it has been Vice, and this has been Dragon Quest 3. I'm going to let that outro do its thing. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? I'm out of here.